So I just realized something kind of neat. The dupes can actually exit from this from the side like this. I didn't actually not I didn't know they could do that. Let's see if I can call one of the dupes by sending a bunch of tasks in this area. Come on, there we are. Yep, they're able to actually exit from there. I had no idea they could do that actually. So that's kind of neat to know. So I need more exits from this. I'm going to put another exit there, and this is supposed to get across. Because the whole idea of this... Um, oh, that plant's in the way. But the whole idea of this... Was to get the dupes up here when they want to go out in this zone. The research reactor is still running, getting a lot more power from that still have, actually have this disabled so they can't reload rich uranium maybe I'll keep it that way for now okay should be able to connect this now excellent so Last episode, I moved two of those guys over here, those two rockets. I now want to build Red Bull engines. I want to make sure I have a steel platform. Good enough steel for it. Excellent. Let's put this. It needs to be at least 13. T I think that's the height of a, a Red Bull engine maximum is 13. So that's 15. So if I put it right there, that should be more than enough. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more clearance. Let's put that right there. It looks like it's close. Oh, we can't actually get across here, can we? Okay, that path will now exist. So right now, no one can actually reach that, but uh, they will in time. The way dupes will board this will actually be, be uh, from the top. We'll see this in the end. The idea is I'm going to have this ladder-based system. Let's make this out of uh, obsidian. Do we have obsidian in the area? You know, igneous, uh, let's do that igneous rock. Something that won't overheat. Because it could get very hot in the zone. Let's speed things up a little bit. I think in the last episode I managed to get a diamond press. Yep, we did. Okay. Let's put some of those in. Oh, the uh I guess we're gonna have to rearrange things a little bit depending on how I want, want to do this. Actually no, we should be fine. What I'm gonna do is build this out. Still want to make sure that this stays as a laboratory. We'll put in some of our diamond presses over here. don't want to have the dupes to cross this because Brad Bolts are firing across this. Alright, so the dupes will clear that out. Lots of hydrogen. Way, way, way too much hydrogen. I guess that makes sense. Actually, because we're producing a l okay, yeah, that's why we're producing so much power 
that hydrogen is just not needed. Well, you know what? This area here is starting to, well, I was going to say warm up 10 degrees, not particularly warm. But why don't we start to get uh, hydrogen into this guy? So we'll dig a path like this. And we'll uncover this guy. Because this takes hydrogen. Just push hydrogen to it. Add a little bit of cooling, just because we have an excess of hydrogen and don't know what else to do with it. So might as well make it uh, useful. Other than that, we might just start leaking in out in space. Because this is not good. This is not good. So here's the idea. This hydrogen, I guess this is gonna feed into here. We should disconnect this. And hydrogen will get here. Let's put something like this in. The idea if this whole thing backs up, let's send the hydrogen and just release it out in space. Because uh, our power needs are not the same anymore. Now that we've got a research reactor going. Let's put a priority on this because I want to make sure that this is actually the right size. Seems small to me. Is it... Or is it 13 or is it 19? We'll see here in a second. I think it's 19 actually. Anything we can be researching. Wouldn't mind having. Well, maybe that's too early. I'm not sure. I, well, we might make a bin, uh, use of that in some cases. Might as well have the research ready for when we do. Oh, dupes are going to be crossing this. Ugh. I just realized that. Oh, you know what? That's fine. Well, not fine, but. Let's just lock that door here in a second. And the dupes can approach that room from here instead. Let's just lock. Not yet. Okay, this exists. Put in a red bolt engine. Now, does this say anywhere's here where somewhere's here it's gonna say how high it can be? That does not seem right at all. Maybe we'll tell me here how tall can this get? Red Bolt Engine. Module Burden Height. Height 5. Oh, that just means the height of this itself. Oh, Maximum Support right, uh, Rocket Height 20. Okay, no, I do not have that right. I thought that was... That did not look right. 
So we'll take this down. We'll allow the dupes to be able to cross there. We'll have 20. Clearance of at least 20. That This is looking better. So just under those stairs there. So I think... Again, make that out of steel. That's what we want right there. do that as high priority so we can get that rocking in. Just have a look at it. Alright, hydrogen is now leaking out. How are the dupes doing with this system? It's still a little bit more work before they get down there. There should not be any more use for manual generator. See, oxygen seems to be just keeping up. Might want to add in a second line. For now, I think we're okay. Seems sad to be getting rid of all this hydrogen. But, uh, dupes can't breathe when they're in it, so it's gotta go. Alright, rack. This platform now exists. Let's build our Radbolt engine for real this time. don't want to have that happen. The idea here is red bolts are going to be firing from here over to here. And I don't want dupes to cross this. So we're going to put in a few of these. How many? Let's just start with two. Two red bolt engines. What is this? Granite? No, let's not make this out of granite. The idea is they're going to approach this from over here. And this is how they're going to get back from uh, rocket to rocket. I'll even put a fire pole right here. Oh. All right, fix that. Excellent. So what I want... Oh, I mean, I'll have the research for this. Let's, uh, let's go grab that. So we're working on miniaturization, but actually, I think the priority should be this guy here. I think we need more orbital data collection. That means we need to get the, one of these up. I can't remember which one. Let's look in here. Yep, this is the one. Um, yeah, okay, we need to fix this. is essentially where I want to create a vacuum to store food. So there's a lot to be done now. Dupes definitely should not be idle. Actually, let's, uh, since there's so much to be done here, this world is producing some crude oil. We're pressured again. Hold on.
Over the well can no longer function due to excess back pressure. Does that just mean it needs to pause for a while? I don't think that has to do with the environment. Let's get out of here. So I don't need any more crude oil, so cleaner to the teleportation. I really hate the fact that this requires me clicking on teleport when they get here. It should just be automated. Either way, we now have 12 dupes back in the main world. Nope, second platform exists. We can build a second Red Bull engine. I realizing I made a mistake. So I've got this ladder going up, but these red bolts that are going to be firing here will be going through the dupes. That's not cool. So I'm going to move the ladder over. Cancel that location. I think the fire pole is okay. Should look more like this. Duke is creating another Red Bull engine. Awesome, we got two of them. So it'd be nice if we could charge them. So what I'm going to do is destroy this. Maybe make the ladder around here higher priority. We're just going to put a block here to stop Red Bolts from getting across. And what I want to do... I want to put... A red bolt reflector right here. It's gonna have a switch attached to it so I can choose when it's on and off. Just make that out of steel, just out of abundance of caution. Let's make that a priority task. So right now Red bolts are going down to here. Actually, let's put in our diamond presses. So right now, these are just being wasted. Diamond press allows us to turn refined carbon into diamonds. And it takes a lot of red bolts. So instead of just wasting the red bolts, just figure I'll have that built. Big machinery. is about to go in. I want to make sure if I have that happen. Let's not let the dupes cross it here, here, or here. That will be pointing in when this is on. Let's not turn it on right now. I mean, the red bolts should go right through it for the moment. If someone stands on this ladder, they're going to get their head shot. There we go. That's now... Oh, yeah, let's get rid of this too. And if we can be certain no dupes will be in this zone, line of fire, once this is in, and once this is taken out, I think we can turn it on. There we go. We're starting to be able to charge this. We can see the first Red Bull entering. And we have 47 out of 4,000. Because we're producing so much power. I can collect these on, and we can uh, increase the Red Bolt collection four times. And that's going to help fill these all the faster. 
just get rid of that ladder that was never really meant to be there. I'm just wondering if I build some fire poles, if they're going to melt. Or do I need to make them out of steel? These things produce a lot of heat in the area. Maybe I will avoid fire poles for now. them in the future. I can either test that or make them out of steel. We haven't been running very long and we are currently over 700 red bolts. So that's filling up. Let's go back. Oh yeah, we were going over here. Forget about this. So we want to destroy that. Ooh, the petroleum fell down. That's inconvenient. Very inconvenient, actually. Okay, let's get rid of this. This, and this, and mop that up. So we want to store food in here, because I'm going to have a dupe go up. Great data banks. No algae, so we need to make sure we bring in algae too. Put our petroleum back. Before we do that, let's see about making that out of a little tile. Just because. Now this isn't being filled up with oxygen or water, just realize that. So let's bring in those lines. There's oxygen. Nice, we'll fill up both rockets. And then we want water as well. able to get up there so I think I need to build a ladder. Actually no this should be fine but I'll put a ladder in anyway. Starvation. I suspect that is just a dupe that was on his way to the Great Hall. Let's verify that we still have all our rooms. Good to do every now and then. We get a recreation hall, we get a Great Hall, we get a nature reserve. We can get through this morning. Cycle 371. You can see we've got a lavatory, a power room. Down there, it's just industrial area. We actually have a second nature reserve, washroom. And lots of private bedrooms, greenhouse, which we don't need, and another lavatory. Let's check to make sure hydrogen made it here. Oh, it's flooded. Well, nice, we'll nice put in some mesh tiles then. Hydrogen need its way there. It has not. What has stopped hydrogen from? Oh. I guess we need a gas bridge. Fire pool could be extended. So it's losing its floor, but I'm going to replace that with mesh tile.
This area here is 18 degrees. I'm assuming the uh, metal refineries had an effect over there. We start bringing the oxygen in the water in these rockets. It's probably going to decommission this rocket, actually. Pretty decent rocket, but the fact that it's based on carbon dioxide means you don't really need it. Can I switch this out? Never looked at that as an option. I'm not sure. Well, maybe if I destroy it. I can keep because the inside of this rock is actually fine. Oh, I can do that. Cool. All right, I'll I'll uh, I'll save that for later. Just worried with this rocket. Go back down to the bottom of the base. And here we are. This cooling cyst. Well, no, not quite. Hydrogen has arrived, but we need our mesh tiles in order to fully activate it. But at least this will ensure it won't flood. Unless this thing produces too much stuff. Which it really isn't that big of a deal. You don't need that thing. I just figured I might as well use the hydrogen for something. Let's clear out more storage area here. verify that we're still turning fluid of water into water. We are. Our diamond press is ready. Okay, so what we want to do here, we want to send the red bolts into this. And currently red bolts are not going down this line at the moment, because I have them going into this, these two guys. So we can take advantage of that. And have the dupes dig down here temporarily. And the idea is I want to put this here and this here. And based on whether this needs something, it's going to indicate that it should be fed in here or go to the diamond press. So this sends a green signal when the storage is full. So if I connect that to here, this is only ever going to be activated when this thing is full and doesn't need red bolts. Which is exactly what we want. I'm going to build another one of these guys right there. Put a storage bin for refined carbon. Might as well put, might as well put in this guy here to load it. How much power does that need? Two hundred and forty. I'm wondering if I should switch this out now. The conductive line with those guys. I think I think I should. Let's do that. Whoops. So it's going to go and visit these stations over here. And we've got liquid airlock. We don't really need that anymore, so that can go. Really liking these tubes, increasing the speed to which the dupes can get around. What is this? 
That is patrolling. <laughs> Guys, we'll need some power on this line. Make sure these point in the right direction. So right now, this thing is full, so I should be getting a true. Awesome. Rad bolts aren't going down here, but when they do, they're going to be going to the diamond press unless this guy changes his signal. This is a manual process for me to switch over. I'm fine with that for the time being. Let's look inside here. Oh yeah, I want to put some petroleum. Do that at high priority. I never thought about it, but can you put dry walling in a rocket? Probably can. Yeah, you can. Not that I need it at the moment. There we go. So let's destroy that now. Destroy this. Do a little bit of mopping. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. get this rocket back up so we can get some red bolts or some uh, data banks I mean uh, let's see what is printable already almost charged both of oh, steel both of these uh, red bolt engines which is really nice I've got the path up here so that's protecting the dupes from being hit while it, this thing is charging let's put in two new rockets I think We'll probably get at those, the insides of these in the next episode, but we'll do the outside for now. Basic nose of cone will be fine. Make it out of steel. Build and build. I'll go back in here. Excellent. So I have petroleum right there. Let's mop up. A little bit that has fallen down here. And we'll create a vacuum area. Actually, speaking of which, let's look at our food. Because we want to put in frozen food. Pepper bread. Yeah, we need to be careful that uh, we load the stuff in that's actually frozen. So we'll have to wash it when this goes through. Either that, or I could run the fridge. Whoa, did we lose our petroleum again? Oh. Why is that happening? You know what? We're going to go with the fridge idea. That's going to need some power then. So we need plastic in here. We don't have any plastic. Let's destroy that. Let's put in a fridge. I don't know what is going wrong with this setup. It's just going to go right there. Ah, oh, I just realized that's not going to mean carbon. Oh, that's not going to mean. It's going to mean oxygen. Let's try this one more time. I don't understand what's going on. last so long if I can't get this working and I want this dupe to stay up here and produce a whole lot of data banks without me having to send them back down all the time. 
We do need algae. That's important. Let's make two. Bring in two tons of that. Organic. Algae. This built the other thing we want to load in is plastic. There's no point in sending dudes up if they don't have the materials to actually run this thing. We can enable this now. We've got water inside our pipes. Lots of oxygen. Oxygen, that's good. Miners charging up the battery. Okay, what is going wrong? I want to put in petroleum. I want the liquid to stay here. So that is our algae, that's good. gets over here. We can try this out again. So right now we have oxygen. There's no liquid at this location. We just must be pretty busy. Someone should be dropping control. There we are. Don't need a lot. Instead of digging this out, let me try something different. Let's mop that up. Let's check on our nuclear reactor. Lots of power being produced. And it's self-sufficient from the water perspective. It's all coming from the actual system itself, so new, no new water is entering the system, which is nice. I haven't checked to see if these are on. They are not. What about the temp? Oh, what about the temperature of these guys themselves? <laughs> 93 degrees. Um, or sorry, 95. Are they maintaining or not? I forgot about the fact that this might not work. These don't seem to be effective enough. Because once these get to be 100 degrees, currently 95, they're too hot. So I don't know if they're being held at 95, 99.9, .9, and it's actually too hot. No, that doesn't work. This is not working out. What I need to do then is I need to put liquid here, and I need more radiant pipes. I, I, I kind of thought that was going to be the case. I am uh, was lucky to check this now. Let's just get rid of all these. They're not effective for this use case. I didn't think they were going to be. Take out that, take out that. that and that and we want to start storing some water on them so let's do that right about in the center area connect it like that some radiant pipes. Wondering if lead is a bad choice. Let's let's do aluminum. Doesn't have to be absolutely everywhere. So we just need more 
Dumped in. This is cooling off these machines, which is nice. So the temperature of the machines is going into liquid. I don't want this to be. I don't want them to come flooded. So I'm gonna have to make sure this doesn't get too high. I think that's enough. So nice thing is, if I want water stuck going in, all I need to do is cut. Boom. Oh, and let's, uh, let's enable that. Just a little bit more construction. And we'll have the, uh, this water being kept cool. All right, while that goes on, let's go back inside this rocket. Let's see if we can figure out this situation. Destroy that. So let's bring in two tons of plastic. It's going to be manufactured material. Okay, so we still don't have our coolant line going through, but we should pretty soon. There we go. So our coolant line is going around. Lots of radiant aluminum pipes. Okay, so research reactor is running. It is now having steam turbines that are able to be cool. Yeah, this makes sense. So the water that's going in here taking on the heat from the steam turbines therefore these guys need to run this one here doesn't need to be running because the one can keep it cool but it is ready in case it is needed in the future all right so let's go back here because i want more data banks so my idea here is let's just watch what happens when this gets built Hoping that petroleum will stay in place this time. So we've got our plastic on board. Two tons, two tons of algae. So we still have petroleum, a little bit of petroleum fell further down. That's okay. Let's destroy that. Maybe this will work this time. So this is going to be an oxygen diffuser and carbon skimmer over here. One put in mesh tile. Oh, oh, what happened? Whoa, whoa, what just happened there? We lost it again. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, let's empty this. See if that'll fall down. I don't know why we're having issues. You've done I've done this before on this particular rocket. Got another idea. We gotta do to open up this. Somebody. I'm just wondering if I need to put a tile here to kind of trap the petroleum in place. Okay, you shouldn't be sleeping on this rocket. Okay, that uh, caused a bit of flooding, but that's okay. Let's mop and mop. But this time, let's put a tile right there. 
and hope and hope and hope and hope and hope that petroleum stays in place. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, I'm wondering if that tile is going to keep it intact. If that's the case, this is okay. Let's see, I'm going to put a gold tile here. Okay, and another gold tile. Oh, hold on, let's destroy this. Another gold tile, just for decoration purposes. We'll bring that up there. We'll take Destroy this. So now I've got a vacuum. There we go. There we go. I've got now a vacuum in here. We'll put in a fridge. I'm not going to power the fridge because it's in a vacuum and overheat. And we can start to load in some food. Whew. Okay. Let's, how much food? Let's do six kilograms. Anything that's swept only. Let's bring in only pepper bread. Highest quality stuff we can get. And let's go on the base and find pepper bread that's frozen. And mark it as being swept. Food storage is here. Do we not have pe pepper bread? We don't. Is it... What's the limiting factor of pepper bread? Pinch of peppers. I think I forgot a while ago to add another one of these guys. Okay. Well, that being the case, that's fine. We'll put in something else. It's the barbecue meat. That, that's just good enough. Just make sure it's it's in a deep freeze state. Let's so let's hit sweep. Go back in a rocket. Don't remember which one. Soul. Okay. Well, let's put barbecue meat in instead. And we should see the dupes put that in here. Priority, we get that priority six. So everything is in place. I think we can finally get this rocket up producing some stuff for us. See, some of the dupes are idle, so we might as well give them some tasking. What is needed? Might as well build this like that. And the dupes can work on the inside of this rocket. So it's going to be the oxygen line going all the way around. And up and down, up and down, up and down until we get to the corner. Oh, we can leak that out. Okay, so that gives the dude. Well, let's put in some pipe too. This pipe is delivered from here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a carbon skimmer. We're gonna have a lavatory. I think we're gonna be there, so we'll have the output go like this. And the input. We'll go like this. Two. Okay, so we'll do that'll keep the dupes busy. Let's just uh, get back over here. So I want to see this thing take off so I can get some more data banks. So we've got plastic, we've got algae. Now I've got food. I want to see something here. So I've got barbecue meat at minus 30.7. And that's just staying as it is, 30.7 minus 30.7, meaning that should stay forever. How many cal- 24,000 calories. So, 1,000 cal- that's 24 cycles, that is going to be good. Let's go 
bring that rocket up. I think we're going to end there on this episode. Oh, we might want to, just before we send someone up, let's send coffee up, but uh, let's, let's get rid of their skills. So they won't have access to all the amenities in the base. So they may get stressed out if they go up there at the moment. Yeah, we need, we need data banks. Oh, and the other thing. Let's check our Red Bull engines. They're probably full. Might as well turn this off then. Meaning any future Red Bulls are going to be fired down instead. Let's put refined carbon here. I think that's consumable ore. Refined carbon, there we are. And let's just make this forever. And forever. Might need more refined carbon. pieces of that there. Okay, lots going on. So inside that rocket is just started, but really the main thing I want to make sure I get is this up in space. So I think we're ready. We're just waiting for coffee to remove their skills. There they are, being shooken up. So as soon as they're out, I'll assign them the skills that they need, which is just piloting in operation. Right, boom, skills. Coffee. Where are you, coffee? So you're going to have piloting and improved tinkering. We can now send you up in space so you won't get stressed out. Going to change the crew, that is not minor anymore. Yeah, I think everyone's pretty much a pilot now. That's just because of uh, we want everyone to have the running skill. So, coffee, you're set, awesome. So, crew it. Location can be anywhere, it's just one tile away. It can begin the launch sequence. Just realizing I'm not filling this thing with carbon dioxide. So when it lands, it can re refuel. Oh. Cut this right there. Before I finish that off, let's go inside this. Let's tell the stoop they can take off their suit. So there is coffee. They've got access to algae, that's oxygen. They've got access to lots of food. They've got a bed up here, and they're going to start producing this. We've got that set to go forever. They're on break right now. But they're going to make some data banks for us so we can do some more advanced research. I think we're going to end there. I'm just going to put in the last little bit to make sure this gets filled up with carbon dioxide when it lands. All right, well, thanks, everyone, for watching. We've got our Red Bull engines. We haven't fired them off, but we will soon. And we'll start exploring some uh, some of this world to find some fossils at some point. The other thing that we've got to do is, I don't know if I've got the research for it, but we've got to get the meteorite blaster. Anyways, it's, that's somewhere in here. But anyway, that, that'll be another uh, episode coming up. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you in a future episode. Until then. Just print this last thing before I go. <laughs> Excellent fruit. Alright, see ya.